Oh. Good morning. Good morning. It is Monday. Happy Monday. This is this is Caroline and Violet coming to you. Um, you know, we're going back to the office today. We are. We're slowing in. Slowing in, yeah, we're easing in. Easing in. We're easing in. Slowing in. <laughs> yeah, it's um, not a term. So thanks for thank you for joining us. We are we're coming back to you today in a tender way, but it is. Um, I bet you guys could use a free gift today, right? Something to brighten and lighten everyone's mood. Um, I know I could. It's been the worst month ever. <laughs> I really could use a little. I was going to hug you, but <laughs> I told my mom not to touch me before the show started. I said the touching doesn't go well yeah, with she's me. She's like, you know, if you could just not like do that thing. Like, see, I, it's so hard for me right now. <laughs> that. She really liked okay, it. that's fine. Okay. That one was fine. You needed that little hug. We, need, we all need Moms lots of hugs. Moms always know what you need. Yeah, we, we've <laughs> all needed lots of hugs. Yeah. Um, yes, this is Suzanne's granddaughter. Yes, she does look a lot like Suzanne with with the dark eyes and hair and I'm eyebrows. always flattered. I'm always flattered. My grandma used to look at me and say, I don't see it. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, well. <laughs> no, but when we isolate your faces from here, yeah, she pretended was, to see it. <laughs> every time someone would talk about Suzanne and all those lip fillers, she'd be like, <laughs> hey, look at Violet. This, yeah. the, that is definitely... Also, you can do a lot with lip liner. So. I, I can't do that to my lips with lip liner. That would, that would be, you know, something else. Um, so, you know, we're here today. We're talking about... Um, you know, like I said on Friday, I feel like everything has changed and um, and in other ways, you know, in terms of how we're going to run the business and the show, this is what we've been doing for the last year um, when Suzanne was really um, declining in health and not able to participate in the shows. We're always honoring her as the founder of the business. We're always talking about all the things that she taught us and all of the guidelines that she has for the business that we um, have been carrying on and will continue to carry on for her. When you are running a brand like like we do, a, a celebrity brand, um, and we have very specific guidelines, there are hundreds of people who have built this business. Suzanne was always our out front person. She was and is the brand and none of that will change. It will be her guidelines. It was her being a pioneer, especially in clean beauty, because there weren't a lot of people who were doing it or doing it well when she started out. Um, and we will continue to use all those same incredible um, formulators that we use. We'll continue to create products that you guys need that are clean and toxic free. Um, so, Violet, do you want to tell them about our... Sure. We're so, just going to get into the free gift, because you guys have been over two weeks now without any goodies from us, so... Free gift is the Coconut Moisture Serum. Can we... It's. I guess it's a little hard to see in this light, because the bottle's transparent. Can we get a few hands up for the Coconut Moisture Serum? Or, what, what do they say? Everybody put your hands together <laughs> <laughs> for the Coconut Moisture Serum. So, this one... Free gift with any purchase of any purchase of forty nine ninety nine or more. Um, it's it's a sixty five dollar value. I just want to check the internet. Hold on, because some people are saying that the that Facebook is frozen. Facebook, you guys okay? You seem to be okay. Now. I'm not. They, they seem it. okay. Okay. Um, um, so we can use this in a lot of ways. I want to just also note, it comes to you like this and then you get the dropper and then the dropper. I love a dropper. Replaces this. This is great for your skin, like facial oil. Oh my God. If you guys are, if you guys are not down with a facial oil, if you've never tried it, I'm telling you. Do you know what I need it for right now? What? My cuticle. Oh, <laughs> Could we get oh. some commotion for the serum face on? <laughs> 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 um, 
So I really love this for my cuticles because I don't go to the nail salon because your pants. literally someone was painting their nails in oh, yeah. my vicinity. My girl had a, she had a bad time yesterday. No, 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 it wasn't that. Well, like your headache, your headache, your, your I do head. get, I do get headaches. I thought I was fine because you know, I lost so much of my sense of smell. So I actually wasn't aware that from someone COVID. from she's, COVID. She's jumping. So I actually wasn't aware that someone was painting their nails until I saw the bottle because I couldn't smell the very noxious smell of uh, oh. acetone. Acetone? Acetone? Yes, acetone. Acetone and uh, nail polish. So, um, so I didn't know and I actually did have a headache for the rest of the day. But you know, it's a fun thing girls do together. I wanted to sit with my friend while she was painting her nails. It is great. This is great for cuticle oil. Anyway, too. so I don't go to the nail salon because I would die. And <laughs> so I'm using it for my cuticles and then right now. Push and then you need the thing nail. that pushes them back. Or your fingernail, which yeah, is the I've best orange nails. stick ever. Yeah, that's true. And it really works. I mean, this is great. I'm giving myself a weekly little manicure, you know? Clipping these nails. Oh my God, I have not. Do you guys, do you want to see how ugly my, my the finger is that I nearly cut off? Ugh. Should I show them? I don't like looking at it. Does anyone want to see? Um, so I have not had a manicure in. I Does anyone like, want to see? She I holds. <laughs> she holds for response. I don't know. But a lot of people are saying yes. Yeah. It's ugly. It's bad. Caroline, I really no, like your gross. hair straight, someone said. Thank you. Okay, so I'm going to no. give you a trigger warning. Please don't, Mom. <laughs> If you don't want to see, turn away. Cause here it's coming. Mom. Okay, here we go. Uh, I don't want to think about it. Look, it's it. Can you see? Mm. It's not quite. It 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 fused back together, but it wasn't really. It, it kind of attached like that. Top part. Okay, it's over. It's over. You can come back. My mom is always. Um, been really observant and critical of people's nail beds. <laughs> <laughs> she, you have. What? Because, <laughs> because she always, there's this joke that I have nice hands but terrible nails and she loves to tell me that I have flat of Okay, Sorry. she's coming. Um, Lori, uh, yes, of course we are sad about Suzanne. We have been doing tribute shows for um, a couple of weeks now and we let people know that we were coming back to do we're easing back into doing shows now so um, you know we will always have sadness and celebration for Suzanne and um, so th that that's why we're here um, and if that's not your cup of tea totally understand um, and it's okay if you don't want to watch we um, um we have literally been having the worst month ever. So if you're <laughs> doubting our sadness, please don't. Uh, you don't see our entire lives on this one like 30 minute show. And I think we all just need a little, a little brightness today. And you know, for whatever reason, we're, we're in a better mood than we have been in a while. Yeah, Bruce is, um, Bruce is, Bruce is doing okay. He's, um, you know, he's processing like, like the rest of us. Um, and same with Alan. Alan is um, very buoyed by all of his um, children and grandchildren. And that has been, we've had some really sweet, tender time together for we sure. Have. But as you know, cause you've all been through grief and loss. We are not alone in this. There is a lot of, um, sadness there's also a lot of laughter there's a lot of like nostalgia and and mm -hmm. memories and, and yes and you know you guys watch suzanne over the last many years um oh but bunny's here um you watched her over the last many years push through so many obstacles and she would join us and do shows together i mean my god remember when she did the shows with her neck brace on i mean that was suzanne she she always, um, she worked through as for as long as she could. Um, she really did. So 
You know, listen, we are transitioning to a legacy brand that's still like very surreal for me to say. I just feel like I haven't seen Suzanne in a while, but um, that is not the case. She um, is now, you know, through the hills, she, you know, see a hawk fly by and I'm be like, oh, that's, you know, I mean, we're, we're looking for those signs and, and feelings all the time. Hi, bunny. Look who's here. <laughs> we just got another little bright spot um and you know when when someone has been like such an icon like i think about paul newman and what an iconic actor and talent he was and then he went on to create this this incredible brand people didn't want the brand to end when paul passed like um paul newman was a legacy he will stay and that's who we are and what we're doing for suzanne so um Yes, of course, of course we are continuing. So we, again, this coconut moisture serum has so many good applications. It's not just coconut oil, it is organic virgin coconut oil. It also has um, coconut derived medium chain triglycerides, which are the really um, nutritious part of the coconut oil. It, um, oh honey, you gotta use the uh, water in that pantry, the distilled water. Um, uh, safflower oil, broccoli seed oil, argan oil, meadow foam seed oil, raspberry seed oil, nigella seed oil, and sea buckthorn berry. So all of these incredible oils, wonderful as a facial oil. As Violet said, you can use it on your cuticles. If you get any of those like weird little bumps on the back of your arms, it's great for your feet. It's great for your elbows, for your knees. You can pull it through your hair. Um, and I mean, listen, you can use this to increase the moisture on any one of your face creams or any one of your body creams. Um, it is normally uh, $64.99. That's the retail price, but you get that as a free gift today with any purchase of $49.99 or more at SuzanneSummers.com. And like I said, it's been a while since we've had a free gift. Bunny, do you want to come say hi? Bunny, come here, you sweet girl. Come here. Oh, Bunny just got dropped off. This is our, we share Bunny with um, Violet's sister, Camellia. Hi, you. Hi. Did you miss us? Did you miss us? Hi, baby. You know, I haven't used this coconut moisture serum in so long. And Hi. I'm actually shocked because you know there are so many products sometimes i go a while without using one mm -hmm. i'm actually sh even just putting on my hands my hands have been so dry recently and i love hand lotion but sometimes if you're about to touch a bunch of things and you put on hand lotion it's like then you have hand Make lotion sure you on. screw that back on because that's a tragedy if it but this kind of just soaks into your skin and it doesn't have that lotion-y feeling. And it also, it's not, it's not greasy. It's not greasy. Yeah. No. Um, Francesca said, I've been watching days and days of reruns of Three's Company and the show is the best. No one could replace Chrissy. I know. I'm. Aren't you guys Thank loving you. watching all of the nostalgic stuff? I, I will say for me, it is really healing because we just have so much footage of mm -hmm. Suzanne in her prime, whether that was, um, you know, at a, at a, um, in, in watching Three's Company or whether that was like watching her give some of her lectures or doing her Las Vegas act. Like we have so much, we just have so much footage and to see her brain back and firing, um, with all that wisdom is, I'm just so grateful. I'm, I'm so grateful. Who is with Alan? Today, Leslie is with Alan. Violet and I are gonna go down tomorrow and we are staying um, Tuesday and Wednesday this week. Bruce is gonna come down on Wednesday. We are gonna do a show with Alan. We will be at Big Al's Bar and we're gonna do some cooking um, for Alan on Wednesday because we thought that would be um, a nice way to, to hang with Alan, maybe. Oh, you know what? I'm, I'll make those baked apples. It's fall. They're so good. So Wednesday, tune in for baked mm -hmm. apples. That was um, something Suzanne and I love to make together too. Um, I people are saying they love the butterfly story. Well, the other day I was in the grocery store, just my local Gelson's, and 
there she was on the stand. Us Weekly did an entire tribute. Oh, can you go her. get that magazine? Have you yeah. guys seen the Us Weekly magazine? It's incredible. It's the whole magazine. Funny, funny. Like what a sleep. what an impact. The entire magazine. And it was right in my checkout aisle. Aww. So I know she was putting that in my place. In yeah. My um and I do believe that, you know, listen, we all find our our light in times of darkness and for me pets my goodness um this little one has just brought so much light mm. step by step was my favorite her and patrick that's awesome yes we love patrick been a very good friend for many many years oh here it is here it is oh my gosh you guys make sure you pick An this up while it's tribute. available yeah just because leaf, I just was leaf through it with them so they can see. I was going through it and I was like, oh wow, they did a lot on her. And then I realized it was the whole thing. And no one even set this up. Yeah, can you can you turn oh, the sorry. pages? Yeah. Maybe from the bottom. Bunny crawling. Bunny loves paper. Oh, Ellen. She loves reading. This is amazing. Incredible. And they go through all of, I mean, all of her incredible contributions. There she is in Broadway. Broadway. Her star. Bunny, don't. No, don't, Bunny. No. Go put it down. No, Bunny. But this was family photo of her. They're talking about her childhood and growing up. Like, I've never seen some of these photos. This photo of her with Zeta. They really did a good job. Yeah, I haven't seen this photo. Yeah, I haven't seen this one either. That's a bit like from a special. So funny. Yeah, on the Johnny Carson show. I mean, this is comprehensive. Yeah, it's incredible. It is great. So, Definitely anyway. Definitely go get it. That's our, that's our Zanny. Um, yes, go get that one today. Um, so, you know, while we're talking about some of Suzanne's amazing contributions, I have to say a couple of these products in front of me. I, this one, this Ageless Serum, I'm, I'm gonna rank that up in amazing family, amazing cook, amazing entertainer, and the founder of this beautiful ageless serum i'm kidding but i'm kind of not because it's a really good serum um if you haven't tried suzanne's products and you're looking for like that one thing that you can add to your current skincare program this is one that i recommend you add um this is the ageless serum you're going to put this on after you wash and tone and then put on the ageless serum before your moisturizer this it's loaded with sea algae, so it really um, feeds your skin and nurtures your skin. And it has um, African birch in it, which has been used medicinally for hundreds of years. Um, and it is just this, it, it plumps and it rejuvenates and it is a beautiful, beautiful product. And like I say, this to me is kind of an entry point to Suzanne Organics because you can use it um, with whatever you're using already. Don't switch it up, just add this and let me know in 30 days um, if you notice the difference. I love, love, love this product. It would be a good way today to get your free gift. For me, this eye cream is so incredible. I use it every night. Yeah, because you actually have a ton of crow's feet well, and this cream just got rid of them. I'm saying my <laughs> eyes also, they do get dry and it's a very delicate area and it doesn't really you don't really put moisturizer on your eyes, so I really need the the cream. You, you know, know what? It's not a bad idea at 25 to start using your prevention. And that's actually, you know, great. I'm kidding. You don't have wrinkles that you need to get rid of, but taking care of that delicate eye area, even from your age, is a great idea, which is 
why we like doing these shows together. I'm 58 years old. I obviously have very different skin issues than this stunning 25 year old next to me. Um, but good skincare and good practices now can help you avoid some of the things that you might have in the future, like horrid age spots from too much sun. And you know, there are things that, there are things that we can do. These are actually not my grandmother's earrings for everyone saying that. They were the other ones on my second piercing that I was wearing. They're like little Elsa Peretti beans. But oh, yeah, they're so sweet. Yeah. So. Does it help with dark circles and puffy eyes? Yes. Yes. Um, we also have another problem. If you have puffy eyes, I highly recommend you look at the firming eye serum with tightening peptides. It's really good for fat bags. Um, this one, yes. Um, helps with dark circles and the appearance of crow's feet, they lines said, and wrinkles. You don't look 58, God bless. Oh, thank you. That's well, nice. Well, that's because she uses. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that. Um, sorry, people are. Um, yes, Violet, you do have Zanny's smile. A lot of people keep saying you have her laugh. It's funny because my grandma used to always say to me, she said, one of my favorite things about you is your laugh because it's so goofy. She was saying it in a way where she was making fun of it a little, <laughs> saying that it wasn't maybe, she never said this, but maybe it's not the most attractive laugh. It's more of a silly laugh, but a lot of people are saying we have the same laugh. It's true. Um, yes, we do still have all of her costumes from Vegas. Uh, well, <clears throat> I take that back. We have many of her costumes from Vegas. When she had that fire in Malibu, a lot of her costumes and a lot of her dresses like from Candid Camera and a lot of her stage dresses were at that house. But there are many and another storage facility. Um, I think I'm, I'm gonna have to see if Leslie will do a show and do, we did it once several years. When, when we first started doing Facebook Lives, we went to the office and we went through all of her costumes. Do you remember that? She has a storage room. I've I, never been there. She has a storage room and all of her costumes. You would I love wanna, that. I, you yeah, should go really with Leslie go. and do that. Yeah. Um, so yes, that would, that would be fun. So we do have many of her and her closet is just unbelievable. Beautiful, um, yeah. yeah. Especially, you know, her new closet. Okay, so you remember, Kenneth. We did. Um, yes, you guys will never stop making Gut Renew. Gut Renew, is, Gut Renew is here to stay. As long as I'm living and breathing, Gut Renew is here to stay. And this one, she drinks it every single day. I so really do. You, you'll it's promise great. after I'm gone that you'll keep making it. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, um, so the other thing I wanted to talk about today was targeted night cream. This is a beautiful, beautiful night cream. We kind of loaded the night cream with all of the stuff that you might not want to wear under makeup during the day. So it is, um, mm. it's, I'm going to tell you some of the things Smart that we ladies. <clears throat> Well, because I could use that bioactive moisturizer day and night and be totally happy with it. But this also has those firming peptides in it. This is, this has the biomimetic peptides. And they, um, they, they actually help support the structure of your skin. So it's, <clears throat> we call it like a crystal cobweb of proteins that kind of hold your skin in place. So it's not that it's sticky, but it is a heavier <clears throat> cream that you want to wear at night. Um, and I just love it. It also has Edelweiss flower in it, um, which helps to create a protective barrier on your skin. It's a Gorgeous, gorgeous cream. Wait, this person said three weeks in Spain and Paris took my gut renew and had a smoothie every day. Gut felt awesome. Oh, that's, that's awesome. awesome. Especially when you travel. I I mean, don't you guys find that your digestive system just gets it's so really rocked. wrecked. Yeah. Yeah. Because you know, you 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 might be able to adjust to the you might be able to, uh, to adjust to the um, time change, but your body still thinks you're supposed to be awake at a different time, and you know, that's why. Um, sorry, somebody keeps texting me. Can you make that go away? Um, will there ever be a Suzanne Summers Museum? 
Gosh, oh. I don't know. Um, you know, I would, love for, I would love for there to be something in Palm Springs. Um, right now we are, you know, it's been two weeks. We, we had a beautiful family burial, which was very small and intimate. And we are planning a memorial for, you know, sort of the next rung of family and friends, but it will still be pretty small. Um, we're also doing a family memorial up in Suzanne's hometown at her sister's um, house. So that's what we have planned right now. And beyond that, I mean, our job is to keep her legacy going. Um, do you have two different colored eyes? No, we don't. Mm -mm. Same color. Um, Apparently, I saw a statistic recently that if one parent has blue eyes and one has brown eyes, there's a 50% chance you could get either. Um, well, that depends on what the other parent has. I'm saying if one parent has blue eyes, one has brown eyes. For the child, it's 50-50. Oh. Like, that's the way the genes are split. But if they both have a if they both have a recessive brown, doesn't it go to 25%? What no, because because I don't know, yeah, I just saw sense. that it's 50 50. I don't think that's true because I didn't either, but uh, you know, because I'm repeating the brown eyed myself. parent would have to have a recessive blue in order for the child to get blue. I don't know, no, <laughs> okay, Chrissy. What? <laughs> um. Yeah, you need you need at least. Oh, can you get that one? It's an active morning. My goodness, it is an active morning. We are off and running. Um, what lotion do you have to get Violet's lips? <laughs> I have no lotion for that one, guys. I have no lotion for that. Who is that? Oh, hey, Mark. How are you? Hi. Um, just doing a show. Um, so I wanted something like Suzanne. So I bought an off-the-shoulder Caroline Costas Andros top, pink and white, similar to the one she wore. Is that weird? It's not weird, Julian. I hope you, I hope you feel her every time you wear it. She loved those. She loved those tops. Um, and they remind me of Suzanne too. That's for sure. Um, tribute page. Will that still be the tribute? You guys, the tribute page at SuzanneSummers.com is going to stay up. You will always be able to find that on Suzanne's blog. We have over 10,000 people who That's have signed incredible. the tribute book. And I tell you, we love just going there to read all of those. And it's tribute. really, it's helping my grandfather a lot. It he really is. reads it a lot and it, it really, I can tell, is cathartic for him. And it's also so varied. I mean, she affected so many people in so many different ways. And um, I love, I just love reading all of the different ways that she had an impact on your lives. I, you know, it's interesting. I have not written a, I haven't written a thing yet. I couldn't get any words out yet. Um, we all have our process. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm not ready to put it into a. Um, I'm not. I'm not ready to put it into a paragraph. It's. It's feeling too vast for me to do that. So I think part of being here with you guys is part of that for me, is just sharing all the things that she taught me and all all of the ways that she influenced my life. Um, I was 21 years old when I met Suzanne. So it's crazy. I know. It's, okay. been a, it's been a lifetime. For all the people accusing my family of going on a European vacation when my grandmother's cancer had come back, uh, that's not <laughs> all the case. All the people, one of you. That's not, but I'm just saying that's not the case. And uh, there's so much that goes on behind the scenes that, you know, is unknown. So uh, just don't jump to conclusions. This has really been a process for all of us. Yeah. Um, Silly. Silly accusations. That's okay. We know it comes out of a place because you loved her. So if it um, is a misguided anger 
that's okay. It, 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 as long as it comes from a place of love. Um, no one has been more supportive right than than our family to her in this time. I mean, no one else time knew. before. Yeah, <laughs> no exactly. one else knew. So she did it the way she wanted. I mean, believe me, like when they when they somebody leaked the you know the details of her death certificate, and her uh, PR team reached out to me, and they were like, "Oh my God, I can't believe." No one knew this whole time, including them. No one knew. Um, her closest friends did not know. So that's the way she wanted it. And we, um, we protected that for her because she wanted every day that she was here to be a day in the present and not having people lean into her with the, I'm so sorry. I, she didn't want that. She didn't she want like that. Pity. She, she wanted she was optimism. <laughs> yeah. She was like, when people look at me with that face, I can't. And, and she's like, and it's so much work for me to hold them up. Mm -hmm. um, she didn't do it with us. She didn't talk about being sick or dying with us. She wanted light and she wanted optimism. And, um, you know, if I'm being honest, sometimes that was hard because we wanted to talk about it. Mm -hmm. We wanted to process that with her, but she didn't want that. She didn't want that. She wanted us to stay optimistic and she wanted us to believe that she was going to beat this. And she really kept thinking up until the very end that she was going to beat this. So please don't judge. Don't judge. We gave her what she wanted. Um, and you know, a lot of you, why won't you give us an update? We want an update. We want, I'm like, I can't give you an update. You know, and also the update sucked. <laughs> so I wasn't gonna give you an update. Like, oh, the update, oh yeah, well she's having a hard time walking now. Oh, she's now she's, the update sucked. So there was no, there was no doing that. So, you know, as magnanimous as I sounded at the beginning of the speech to say like, you know, it's okay. When, and also, you know. <laughs> That was me using this finger instead. <laughs> it yeah, was. I mean, they were her wishes, Paula. We, 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 we did what she asked us to do. It's also impossible to know where someone is during what time. And I mean, one week in Paris wasn't really going to change anything at that time. God, so no. <laughs> it's just, it's not even congruent. No. And also, like, listen, she really, like, Alan and Suzanne had a lot of private time during this. And we went down there as much as we were, um, you know, as much as we were able to. But, you know, and Suzanne, it's like, you don't feel like visitors when you don't feel, yeah. when, when you don't feel well. And, she like, we wanted to just be there just to hold her hand and, and be there. But, um... She was such a host, like she, you know, she was used to hosting. So I think that us sort of taking care of her felt a little bit weird to her at times. It, it she did not want us taking care yeah, of her. She like only she, wanted she was used to being the matriarch too, you know? She was the host. That's what I just said. Yeah. yeah. Like I'm trying to read some of your comments here. I'm not angry. I'm curious. Big difference. Um, yeah, Jackie, you don't know when I went to Europe or not when my dad was sick. She actually Come did on. go to Europe when her dad had cancer. You know, at my dad, <laughs> at my dad's, you know, encouraging. Yeah, exactly. And she was also there cooking for him every weekend. So like both exactly. can exist. I and mean, we're not supposed to not live our lives. If death can teach you anything, it's also to live a full, happy, beautiful life, not at the expense of taking care of those who are yeah, sick. Yeah, never but... ever did we abandon no. or... Anyway, this is silly. We're not talking to you people anymore. That's just dumb. <laughs> I mean, 99.9% .9 of you understand how how much we cared for every member of our family and and will do um so we don't have to don't what have to did grandkids it. think when watching three's company we used to watch it actually when we went to palm springs so every time we went to palm springs this was 
this was a while ago. So they had those, this was in early 2000s. And in one of the rooms, they had this small little TV. And, you know, it was like cable. Tele like you just flip through a few right. channels. Yeah, <laughs> cable, <laughs> me, uh, Gen Z. Um, so, you know, we flipped through the channels and like it was one of the only things that was on. So that's when we would watch Three's Company, or we'd watch it when we'd visit them in Malibu, and then we'd always run upstairs in Palm Springs. Mm -hmm. We'd wake up early and we'd run upstairs and go visit Zanny and Zeta in their room, and they'd make us a smoothie, and we'd crawl into bed with them, and we'd watch TV. And that's when we'd see episodes of Three's Company, and then when my grandma was getting ready for the day. And I remember the episode where she, she and John Ritter were handcuffed, that was her favorite. That was that was, that was the Andy's one that favorite. stuck out to me the most because it was so funny. Mm -hmm. And I remember, but she was sitting there. It was one line where he was ordering and he was saying, oh, I'll get the 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 tomato soup. And then she was at the other table and she said, I'll have a turkey sandwich. <laughs> it was so funny. <laughs> I remember that. Um... Zanny came about as her name because um, it was actually when the first grandchild was coming, it was Stephen's son, and she wanted to be respectful of Stephen's mother. And so she didn't want to be called Grammy because she was like... Her grandma. Well, yeah, she didn't want to be called anything like grandma-ish because so, she wanted to be respectful of the biological grandmother. And so she said, so, you know... Alan's going to go by Zeta, so I'm thinking, you know, maybe, you know, Suzanne, Zan, Zanny. You know, people, kids always like to add a Y to them, so that's how Zanny or came to be. And then um, Bruce was the one who said, Mom, whatever name you pick, it's going to be one name for all the grandkids. There's no difference between Stephen and Leslie's kids and our kids. We want you to have one name. It's going to, you know, we're one family. So that's how Zanny came to be, and it just couldn't be more perfect name. and we never even knew we were step cousins of course like, not. growing up we didn't know that technically we weren't blood related it's true <laughs> those are some of the best memories i have really is going to palm springs around this time of year yeah in november waking up early going up to zanny's room and mm -hmm. then she had this long hallway and it had these beautiful fluffy rugs and mm -hmm. her cat Chrissy when Chrissy was alive Chrissy would go and lay in the rug <laughs> and Zanny told me she goes and lays in the rug and it reminds her of her mother and I remember <laughs> saying to Zanny aren't you her mother and she said no she has a cat mother <laughs> so that's when I learned <laughs> that cats have babies I guess and in that hallway she had pictures of all the grandchildren and all the all of her children and the grandchildren and there was this beautiful jewelry draped across the pictures and the beautiful jewelry. books and pictures of her vegas performances and then we'd go sit at the foot of her vanity and watch her put on makeup she loved this shui omera concealer stick that i think they discontinued yeah, that's so she had to make her she own. She bought like <laughs> so I should make exactly, yeah, and then she and then she made her own. That's where the concealer pot came from because she used to be obsessed with this, like because this was in way the before 90s. this yeah. was like early early two thousands before yeah. she really did makeup. Yeah, and that yeah. was, and then we'd go into her closet, which was the best part because then we'd look at all of her. She had her, her jewelry all like laid out beautifully, and and it was all color coded. So she would have like the yellow mm -hmm. picture frame with you know, a picture of my mom and dad in it or something, and then all the yellow jewelry would be, or all the gold jewelry would be right by that all from frame. All, all that jewelry from HSN. And then she had the pink drawer. Yeah, we didn't know it was CZ. <laughs> and then she we had always the, say the really, amethyst ones that, yeah, that Violet was like, well, this is my drawer. Like, and then she'd tell Camelia that the hers was ones, the pink, and yeah. then Daisy was we all the yellow. We had a drawer, and we didn't know they were CZ, and we would always say really, like, insensitive things to her, like, Zanny, when you die, can I have this one? <laughs> <laughs> but we didn't know we were just little kids, you know. And my mom was saying to us, "Stop saying that. Yeah. Stop yeah, saying when you die." Yeah. <laughs> and, I, and so then we changed the narrative. We were like, "Zanny, when you don't want this anymore, can I have it?" 
But because she had so much beautiful, you know, it was just like it was a candy shop for us. She still has all of that jewelry. All of it. And any of you every who color... bought that HSN, that jewelry from HSN, it was so well made. All those pieces. And she loved it. She wore it. She wore it. She really did. And it was beautiful. Yeah. And she wore it so well with all of her great clothes. And then also she had every single color Manolo Blahnik, the same the same pointy and like show. 12, pointy toe. 12 pair of nude. <laughs> yeah. Of nudes. Yeah. And she actually used to tell us that she invented nude shoes on television. She did. She did believe that. She said, you know, you know, listen to me. <laughs> because, and then she'd explain it every time and she would say, because when you sit there on television, I thought, I thought, you have your nude shoe and it just elongates the leg. So there you have it. I was the first one. I was the first one to wear nude shoes on television. I, I, I tell you, I, I'm serious. Claim, another claim to fame. Write about it in the tribute. Yeah, book. exactly. It does so elongate. I, it does elongate the leg. Every, every time fact, when you guys were doing it, you guys were doing with um, that interview with Kit Hoover, who's such a doll, mm -hmm. and um, and I think you mentioned the nude shoot. The new and Kit was like, oh, I, I mean, listen, I'm petite woman. I do it. I do it all the time. Yeah. Well, because you reminded her it was Danny. every time we see someone wearing nude shoes on television, we go. <laughs> and she is right it what? does elongate the it, leg of course it does yeah every like the ankle strap a black ankle she strap she hated ankle straps she yeah. would tell us She's all like, the time cuts the leg cuts the She's leg like, great shoe but not the ankle strap mm -hmm. she hated ankle straps what else did she hate well she loved dressing monochromatic monochromatic head to toe i remember going she she'd do the purple jewelry the purple bag the purple shoes no but, but to everything like i remember we went to this lunch with my friend and my friend's grandmother and my grandma suzanne um they were friends so we did like a three generations lunch and we went to the polo lounge and she came dressed in <laughs> purple tights purple Manolo Blahniks, she had purple gloves, a purple dress, a purple suede belt, a purple hood, because she oh loved God, hoods. I remember this outfit. <laughs> she, she loved so good. She loved it. And I was like, Zanny, <laughs> you're wearing so much purple. I love dressing monochromatically. <laughs> but it elongates. It does. She knew. It does. She knew. And she only, in bright colors always. And she would always say, well, she liked you black know, too. the great thing Two colors, you can wear two colors, two different colors, as long as they're the, the same, same intensity. intensity. <laughs> she started that one later in life, I yeah. feel like. Which and the prints, oh, you're right, Geraldine, the prints, the zebra print, the cheetah animal prints, print, animal prints, hoods. Hoods, she loved hoods. She would walk around the house in hoods. I know. <laughs> She'd go, Aww. I love this. I love hoods. <laughs> So, oh, no. <laughs> so we're not, like, in the middle of these flows, and then someone writes, someone gets mad at you for being happy. Comment, and we're like, like oh, okay, okay, okay. We're doing the best we can. We're anyway. we're we're just. And she loved move through Coral this. Crush too. Coral Crush. Oh yeah, the lipstick. And then yeah. she always she loved coral jewelry. She had turquoise or coral. Those were she would yeah. use the tanning. She was I didn't know my grandmother was naturally pale until literally so pale her like after she passed because she always wore tanning serum and self tanner. So you mm -hmm. can see those early days like on Johnny Carson. She has really fair pale skin mm -hmm. because that's before she started doing tanner. But then Later on, she always had this glowy, like, California skin, but mm -hmm. she's an Irish girl at heart. But anyway, she always, she put on tanning serum, but, like, one thing, one of my favorite things about my grandma is that she was kind of, she kept everything tidy. She always had a great space, and mm -hmm. she was very, you know, clean and tidy, and, but she had, like, this sort of feminine messiness, and she was a little messy, and so, like, she would do things in a very careless manner. So every time she put on her tanning serum, <laughs> it wasn't, like, fully rubbed in. <laughs> so it had these little splotches, especially all over her hands. <laughs> and then even at the very end, like, when she fully had cancer and, like, couldn't move or function... 
there was still tanning serum on her hands. Just sweet. Like when, if, if we were going to see her, she'd, she'd just throw a little on. Yeah. And then we'd so rub sweet. it in when we saw her. Yeah. We'd even it out for her. And she, she wore makeup every single day. She always wore makeup. Yeah. She said, you have to wear makeup every day. And I think Maureen taught her that, right? Maureen was the one who would always say, you have to wear makeup every day. Maureen's her sister. Yeah, well, toward the end, I saw her without makeup many times. She was so yeah, beautiful but that without was, makeup. That I mean, was like when we kind of knew, honestly. Yeah, but she, was, she wasn't she, wearing makeup. No, the last few months when we were out in Palm Springs, she wasn't wearing makeup. And but that's we what I mean. Like, that's, it's like for so me, that was a sign. Like that, her skin you know, looked incredible. Her skin does. No, she looked really beautiful. I mean, her skin was I just mean, for me, I knew because she always wore makeup. Yeah. I knew well, that she, something was different at that point. Yeah. It just got harder to put on, too. Of so course. Thanksgiving, Julie, yes, Thanksgiving is a huge family tradition for us. Um, I am incredibly blessed that we spent so much time together in the kitchen. That's really so much of the place where Suzanne and I bonded. And we have been making that Thanksgiving meal together for 30 years now. And um, either one of us could make it without the other, but it was always best when we would make it together. It was. Um, so I will carry on the tradition with the family. Mm. Everyone's going to contribute and cook. Um, I don't know that anyone will ever be able to make gravy as well as Suzanne because that was just oh. the most <laughs> special thing about her was the gravy that then turned into the soup. Um, I will do my best, but I know, I know how to do, like, I'm the one who makes the stuffing. Um, we did the cranberry together, the turkey, she always seasoned really well, but I, I can do that. It's the gravy that I'm just going to ask for her to come through me and into my hands and make that amazing gravy for her. Um, and those are also some of my best memories too, is just walking into the kitchen, how it smelled. Yeah, walking into that kitchen and it was a beautiful house like kind of villa style but the kitchen was fairly small in comparison to the scope of the whole house <laughs> and they had this giant table that took up literally the whole kitchen so you had to squeeze around corners to get by and then like whoever got the corner seat in the very back was sort of the unlucky one. <laughs> <laughs> no, this one. Christy saying, loved her cooking, holding the raw chicken and touching everything. Caroline, Caroline would remind her to wash her hands every time. Every time she'd grab the olive oil, rub the chicken, <laughs> grab the olive oil, grab the salt. I'm like, oh. Now I see where I get it, honestly. She's so... Uh, but do anyway. you have all of her recipes? L luckily, um, Suzanne and I did... 12 books together in those summer size years and Suzanne would say can you write out you know how I do my chicken piccata I sear it like this and then I cook it down and then I add the shallot and then I add a little wine and then I deglaze it with a little chicken broth and then I put the butter in. can you write that one for me so my job during those years was to take all of those incredible recipes of Suzanne's and actually figure out the amounts and the timing so that we could have those recipes so if you have any of Suzanne's cookbooks and the compilation book, which was the last one we did, Sexy Forever Recipe Bible, that has the majority of Suzanne's amazing, amazing recipes in it. And we collaborated on so much of that. Um, so yes, most of those recipes are written down. Um, and then, you know, when I started, when I did my, my own cookbook, of course, we didn't have to live by the summer size guidelines anymore, so I kind of leaned into the things that we were never allowed to do in there, um, like things with carbs and Pasta. cheese. And, <laughs> yeah, exactly. So it, between her books and my books, there's, a, there's so, so much. Um, so anyway, we will be back on, on Wednesday. Um, Bruce and Alan and myself We'll be doing a show from Big Al's Bar, and um, we're going to make some baked apples and hang out and tell more stories, and you guys can check in with Alan. But don't forget to get your free gift today, guys. Um, it is the Coconut Moisture Serum. It's a $65 value. You get it free with any purchase of $50 or more at SuzanneSummers.com. Thank you for being with us. Bye, guys. <coughs> Thank you. Take care.